What's going on everyone? Thank you so much for clicking on the video, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Orsley Nintendo Switch Steering Wheel Twin Pack. Alright guys, so let me be very honest and very clear with you. I have never been one for motion controls. I mean, generally for me, they've always tended to suck. I mean, I'm just being honest. They've, they've always pretty much held me back in every single game I've used them in. Even on the Wii, I mean, they weren't usually that great. Even with Wii Motion Plus, I mean, it did make it a little better. But frankly, if I have the option to play with traditional controls, I'll generally tend to pick that. However, we do have a brand new Nintendo console here that we're working with, with some interesting new technology in the controllers. So I'm willing to give it another shot, and I have these cool little steering wheels here that Orsley made that I want to test them out with. So let's go ahead and crack these guys right open and see exactly what's on the inside. So this is a twin pack, so it comes with two steering wheels, which is really cool. Um, go ahead and take one out and see exactly what it looks like. So right away, you can see exactly where you need to put the Joy-Con, which is right here in the middle. And on the back and through the front, you can see that there's a hole here where your finger can just kind of pop through and pop the Joy-Con out, which I think is genius as far as it comes uh, with engineering and accessories. So great job there, Orsley. And then also the triggers here on the back for uh, when you're playing Mario Kart, obviously that's for drifting, jumping, and using your items. So you're gonna be using those a lot and you're gonna want them to work very well. And I've heard before on some of these steering wheels, particularly for the Nintendo Switch, there's been some issues with sort of the travel or the distance between in which it takes to press these buttons all the way down for there to be a reaction for the button. So I'm interested to see how that's gonna work with these Orsley steering wheels. But obviously the best way to find out is just gonna be to try these things for ourselves. So let's go do it. That's my room over there. Alright, so as we're waiting to load in, we have our Orsley steering wheel and we are playing with the auto go, the assisted steering, and the motion controls of course. And we're playing with the assisted steering because we're playing with motion controls and I just do not trust myself. I wanna at least I wanna at least show you guys a little bit of a good time trying this review out. And I wanted to do this review kind of live on the spot and give you guys a look at how it feels. So it's not gonna be a full on Let's play like I sometimes do, but I am gonna do a quick race and show you guys that it does feel good actually. Look at that! Look at those motion controls actually kicking in. Feeling pretty good. That was a pretty tight turn. Alright, so let's see. We got a mushroom here, so I'm gonna try and use the boost. I'm gonna see how much travel there is going on um, and how long it does take for that button to press. So I'm gonna give it a light press. That's like a. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's almost no travel at all. I, I pressed it like a quarter of the way down and it went. So let's try it again and get nice and close for this one while I'm not crashing. Okay, so that didn't go. There we go. So I'd say it's about like a 35% press down and then it activates the button is what it feels like for me. Um, but when I'm racing this, I'm pressing my buttons, or when I'm, when I'm using this, I'm usually pressing my buttons pretty hard. Um, so I don't know why people complain too much about travel, as you can see. And what I also like, what I just noticed, because instinctually, I mean, I've been constantly playing with just traditional con uh, controls, handheld mode, or with the Pro Controller. So you can actually play in conjunction with the joystick and the motion controls at the same time. So if you need to like fix a turn surgically, like I just did right there but messed up, um, you can actually do that too. So. You can kind of practice with motion controls, or if you're just playing, I guess, for fun and you want to correct yourself pretty quickly, then it works. But I gotta say, like, this is pretty cool. Like, I definitely feel like I'm. Uh, it's adding to the game. Like, I, I definitely don't think that I would play this during like a competition or like if I was getting really hard and serious with my friends about Mario Kart. I don't think I would want to play with motion controllers. Um, but at the same time, if I'm just sitting down to play with my friends and or my family and like my girlfriend or my friends and it's just a relaxed, like whatever, feeling laid back, then why not just bust these steering wheels out and play with some motion controls? So another thing too, before we finish the race, um, you can see right here I'm using primarily 
just the joystick and I'm holding the steering wheel, I'm not turning it around for the motion controls. And it and it feels good, it feels a lot better than just holding the single Joy-Con on its own. So I like that it has this like added grip, this extra chunk in my hands, it feels really good as opposed to just holding the Joy-Con on its own like, uh, like that. So yeah. I don't know, I just, I, I just, I, I like this a lot, and for just a couple bucks, getting two of them, like $12, and you get two of them, I think that that might actually be, maybe, maybe it's worth it. But I don't know, let's go back to the other room, check it out, and I will give you guys my official word. So, here we go. So now that I actually got some hands-on time with these things, I feel like I can give you guys a pretty good idea as to if they would be the right purchase for you or not. So, like I had originally said before, like we started this whole review slash gameplay video slash whatever you want to call it, um, I have never really been one for motion controls. But motion controls on the Switch work surprisingly well, and I am slowly becoming a fan of it, honestly. Now, I'm probably never really gonna use motion controls in a Mario Kart tournament or something like that unless something happens and I find out that I'm like just really good at it or I get really good at it one day. But for the most part, just having the ability to do this when I just want to relax and kick back on the couch and play with my girlfriend or my friends, because generally they do work really well. And the SL and the SR triggers on these steering wheels really don't have any issues at all. I mean, I was drifting just fine, I was using my items totally okay. I mean, there were no problems whatsoever. I also did find out that it's not a bad idea to just use these as extended Joy-Con grips. Even if you're not going to use the motion controls, they feel really good in your hands and make the Joy-Cons just a little bit bigger. Actually, a lot bigger when you think about it. Um, and they give it a cool little steering wheel feel, which is fun. But at the same time, you're really just getting more of a chunk. So, I think it is worth your purchase, especially because you're paying $12, or about $12, and you get two of them. So, for that price, honestly, I would pick them up. I think you guys should get them. Let me know exactly what you think about these bad boys, or what you think about accessories like this, steering wheels, and what other accessories you'd like to see for future games like uh, maybe a Switch Steel Battalion. I'm just kidding, that'll probably never happen. But along those lines, some crazy, crazy controller ideas. I would love to hear them. So join me in the comments below and let me know. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like it and subscribe for more Switch videos just like this one. Thanks, and have a great day.